a 69% faster CPU, RTX 4070, 120Hz OLED, under 2 kilos, and under 2000 US dollars. Check out our latest VivoBook Pro 16X. The 2023 VivoBook Pro 16X is an absolute powerhouse with a 13th gen HX Core i9, an RTX 4070, up to 64 gigabytes of DDR5 memory and a complete set of I.O. with all the ports you'll need in a surprisingly lightweight chassis of only 1.9 kilos. And you probably heard about our crazy 3D OLED display that basically looks like a hologram with stuff popping out of the screen and hovering in front of you. Our ASUS Spatial Vision 3D OLED display. It uses eye tracking, so you don't need to wear those clunky, uncomfortable, flickering sunglasses that give you a headache. We had a demo at CES and it was very well received. We will have a dedicated video just about our ASUS Spatial Vision panel alone, since there's a lot of cool stuff to show and talk about. I actually have the full retail packaging here off that view book, so let's start with that. To strike a balance between sustainability and stylish design, the laptop comes with a brand new packaging. It's FSC certified and made with 100% recyclable paper, so basically everything you see here is recycled and can then be recycled again. You can also turn this part into a laptop stand or a laptop holder, which is pretty neat. If your laptop stand hasn't arrived yet, or you're not sure if you even want one, you can use this one for a while and then see if you like it. Since we still wanted to make the unboxing experience fun and not too dull with just a brown cardboard box, we created an AR filter. Let us know what you think. Over here, you'll find the bundled laptop adapter. It's 240 watt and it's about as thick and heavy as three smartphones. It weighs around 500 grams and is pretty compact and lightweight. All right, and here it is. Sorry, no transparent film to peel off for the ASMR fans in our audience, but that would go against our sustainability goal. This one is the zero degree black version. Let's have a look at all the different sides and show it from different angles so you get an idea of what it looks like without actually having a hands-on yourself. So we do have a dazzling silver option as well if you want something less Batman and more traditional instead. Personally, I would definitely recommend the black version. Let me put the 2023 VivoBook Pro 16X next to the previous gen for side-by-side -side so you guys can see the differences and what changed. Overall, you can see they look very similar. And here's an overview of what we improved on the 2023 model compared to last year's model. The CPU is way faster, 69% in Cinebench to be exact. We tweaked the cooling system and this allows us to run both the CPU and the GPU at higher wattages. You get a better 120Hz OLED panel and the UHS-2 SD card slot goes from microSD to full-size SD in 2023. And we also added one extra Thunderbolt 4 port. The weight improved a lot. At 1.9 kilos, it's notably lighter while coming with better specs and huge performance bumps. We achieved this by using more recycled plastic, which not only helped to bring down the weight of the chassis, but makes it more sustainable. And it still passes our marathon of stricter military-grade 810H tests. So we did not compromise on the build quality. If anything, it's more durable. It actually feels very sturdy with little, if any, flex. All 2023 ASUS laptops are now tested in accordance with the world's strictest US military standard, the STD810H. We now run them all through 26 tests, consisting of extreme temperatures, humidity, and drop tests, which is almost twice as much as what we did in 2022. While it's unlikely that your laptop gets caught in a blizzard or is heated up in an oven, don't do that please. Any improvement in product reliability and durability does make it an overall sturdier product, which means it will easily be able to make it through your day-to-day -day life, last longer, and as a result, make it a more sustainable product. The tougher our laptops, the longer they last, so buy better, use longer. At 21.9 millimeters, it's slightly thicker than last year's model, but unless you have them side by side, I'd be very surprised if you would notice. It doesn't look or feel thick at all. And when typing on it or carrying it, I can't really tell difference in thickness. I can definitely feel the reduced weight of the 2023 VivoBook Pro 16X though. Just like last year, you can choose between either an OLED or an IPS panel, which I think is great because they both have different strengths. And they're both 16 by 10 for slim bezels and extra screen space. 
If you care a lot about battery life or prefer a matte panel, or maybe want to limit your budget, then the QHD 240Hz IPS panel option is probably best for you. But if you want the best looking display, you should definitely get the brand new 3.2K 120Hz QHD OLED panel instead. This brand new panel provides exceptional color reproduction of the full cinema grade DCI-P3 gamut with high color accuracy. The up to 600 nits peak brightness and that 1 million to 1 contrast ratio that only OLED can pull off get you rich and vibrant colors. It's Display HDR True Black 600 certified, which guarantees those super deep blacks. If you care about the lowest panel response times for the crispest and sharpest images, the highest possible contrast ratio and black levels that are truly black, there's simply no way around OLED. Something else that only OLED displays can do is block out harmful blue light in a way that you don't even see. When you use a software blue light filter to protect your eyes, you get a pretty big color distortion. Everything turns yellow, orange, brown. That's because those blue light filters essentially tone down all the blue light emitted from the panel. But only part of that blue light is actually harmful. So we work with Samsung to tweak our OLED displays to emit as little of the harmful blue light as possible while keeping the good blue light at the same brightness. As a result, you get almost no harmful blue light while the image looks 100% color accurate without any color distortions. And here's something new. We can now finally show you what this actually looks like, so you don't have to take it from us. This little lens that I have here filters out most visible light except for the harmful part of the blue spectrum. So this filter allows us to see only a very limited range of light, only the bad blue light. And here you can see how much more harmful blue light a regular IPS panel emits than our OLED panel at the same panel brightness. See, without the filter, they look the same. They emit the same amount of blue light, but with the filter, you can see the IPS panel is emitting a lot more harmful blue light, while the OLED panel is emitting almost none. It's mostly emitting good blue light that doesn't damage your eyes. Similar to the previous generation, the laptop is equipped with a full HD 1080p webcam and uses our 3DNR technology to remove noise and improve colors and contrast. Thanks to a dual mic array and our ASUS AI noise cancelling, people will be able to hear you loud and clear without having to raise your voice or having to overpower the background noise that's around you. There are several modes. In single presenter mode, all background noise gets filtered out, so you can speak comfortably in the low volume without having to raise your voice. And in conference calls, you can switch to multi-presenter mode, which normalizes all individual voices, boosting the voice of people that maybe sit a bit further away, so everyone on the other hand of the call can hear them. And there's a physical privacy shutter for the webcam, so you can always rest assured your cam is definitely off. And even if an app suddenly turns on the webcam, it won't be able to actually see anything. We even have a dedicated ambient light sensor built in, which will automatically adjust the color tone and brightness to suit your environment. The keyboard comes with the same gray tones and orange highlights, which really sets it apart from other laptops, without being distracting, for me at least. It reminds me of a custom desktop mechanical keyboard. There's a number pad on the right, which is great if you have to punch in a lot of numbers, and all the buttons are exactly where they should be, and the key spacing is exactly the same as on a desktop keyboard. It's 19.05 millimeter from the center of one key to the next. That's important, so all the muscle memory of what key is where and how far you need to stretch a finger to reach a certain key, it all just works, and you don't have to relearn how to type on a completely different keyboard. Nice key travel, nice tactile feel to it, very quiet, well-balanced keys, great keyboard layout, and there's a number pad as well. And the keys aren't flat because, well, your fingers aren't flat, are they? Uh, they have a nice ergonomic 0.4 millimeter curvature to them, which doesn't sound like much, but actually helps make typing much more comfortable, especially during long sessions. And they make you type better. How does that work? Well, they help you hit all the keys center on because you subconsciously feel if you hit a key on its edge thanks to the curvature. So it basically very gently nudges your fingers to hit the keys center on. The power button has a built-in fingerprint reader, which is single sign-on. That means you only need to press it once to power on the laptop and once Windows finish loading, the sensor will then send your fingerprint to the OS to log you in. On many other laptops, you have to put your finger back on the power button again to lock into Windows. 
put your finger on the button on those laptops a little bit too hard and it will shut down again. That's not gonna happen on the VivoBook Pro 16S. There's a massive 129 by 81 millimeter touchpad and it feels smooth and responsive. And it has something really cool that other touchpads lack. It has a built-in Asus dial. In our Pro Art Creator Hub, you can create custom dial menus for specific apps that are selected once you launch the assigned app. And even better, now this not only works with all major Adobe apps, thanks to our partnership with Adobe. By the way, we bundle 90 days of Adobe CC all access with the Vivo Pro 16X. The Asus Dialpad now works with pretty much any app, like DaVinci Resolve or web browsers, because you can now assign keyboard shortcuts to the dial. So anything that can be done via a keyboard shortcut can be assigned to the Asus Dialpad. So you can use the Asus Dialpad to adjust the screen brightness, then speaker volume, then zoom in on a web browser, then skip forward through that video, then adjust the volume of that video, then scroll through the browser tabs. All of this just with the dial. From creativity to entertainment and productivity apps, including Adobe, Spotify, YouTube, Microsoft Office, and many more, all our Asus dials on any of our devices, from our mice, monitors, to laptops, can now be used for pretty much anything. Our Pro Art Creator Hub is also getting a fresh new UI design and new features. For our new color management feature, you can use our screen color picker to detect the color of any pixel on a video or image, and then create a custom digital color palette. It's basically like a digital color swatch. You can also color calibrate your panel, and I'm sure you guys will love this feature. You can switch instantly between preloaded screen color profiles, sRGB, DCI-P3, and a white point adjusted DCI-P3. So you can adjust the panel's color gamut to different types of creative work to suit your personal preferences within ASUS Blended. Choose sRGB for creating web content or anything you want to print, or DCI-P3 for cinema content and videos. The keyboard deck also comes with our ASUS Antimicrobial Guard, a non-toxic silver ion coating. It's ISO 22196 certified by independent medical labs and has been proven to reduce 99% of bacteria over a span of 24 hours, keeping your keyboard nice and hygienic. And it doesn't come off when wiping your keyboard to clean it. It actually lasts for quite a while. For the 2023 version of the ViewBook Pro 16X, you get an additional Thunderbolt 4 port on the right for a total of two now. And these are fully maxed out Type-C ports. They support fast 40 gigabits per second data transfers, 100 watt Type-C PD power delivery for charging, and a DisplayPort 1.4 video signal for external monitors or TVs. You also get a full-size USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-A for five gigabits per second, and an audio combo jack. There's also a full-size HDMI 2.1 port, which supports either 4K 120Hz or 8K 60Hz. So that means it's a real proper HDMI 2.1 port, not one of those 4K 60Hz ports that was just renamed from HDMI 2.0 to HDMI 2.1. On the left, we have the DC jack for the 240 watt adapter, a gigabit LAN port, another USB type A 3.2 Gen 1 running at five gigabits per second, and a full size SD card slot running at UHS 2. I can't wait to flip this thing upside down and show you guys all the cool components inside. And the first thing we see is the thermal module, AKA the heatsink. And it's quite big, which is a good thing. I count five heat pipes. We call this our ASUS IceCool Pro cooling solution, which means you get more heat pipes, bigger and better fans, and so on. The 2023 ViewBook Pro 16X can now push the CPU up to 105 watts and the GPU up to 120 watts. These two fans here are new. They're made from LCP or liquid crystal polymer, which allows us to make the fan blades only 0.15 millimeters thin for extra airflow and higher air pressure to push more air through the laptop and the heatsink. And the heatsink fins also feature a new pattern and shape inspired by shark fins. I'm always a big fan of biomimicry, looking at what works well in nature and adopting it to make tech even better. All these improvements combined result in around 6% more airflow compared to the previous generation. And that allows us to pump a combined 150 watts through the entire laptop, both CPU and GPU. We also have our ASUS Anti-Dust Tunnel 2.0 built into the heatsink, which directs dust particles away from the heatsink fins so it doesn't get stuck and clogs up the heatsink over time. 
and below the heatsink are the stars of the show. The jump from 11th gen to 12th gen was pretty impressive. And I didn't really think we would be able to see a big performance jump from 12th gen to 13th gen. But this 13th gen Intel Core i9 13980HX processor is up to 69% faster than last year's top of the line Core i9 we used in the 2022 Vivo Pro 16X. And that's because while it's officially a mobile processor, it's actually very similar to a desktop CPU with the full eight performance cores and 16 e-cores or efficiency cores. This makes for a total of 24 cores and it runs at up to 5.6 gigahertz. Thanks to those extra cores, higher clocks, and adaptive boost and thermal velocity boost, getting the most out of the 105 watts we allow this chip to run at, you can expect an insane amount of performance out of this laptop. The VivoBook Pro 16X is faster than even high-end workstation desktop PCs from a few years ago. And this in a 21 millimeter thin laptop that weighs under two kilos. And it's not even expensive. It's only around 2000 USD. To me, this is really mind blowing. Now let's look at the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070 laptop GPU. Compared to the previous generation, the new Ada Lovelace GPU comes with a nice boost in gaming, 3D rendering and video editing and broadcasting performance. And thanks to NVIDIA's AI-powered DLSS 3, you get a massive graphics performance boost. And you get AV1 support for high quality broadcasting and video editing. We even added a MUX switch in the 2023 ViewBook Pro 16X, so you can get the absolute most in gaming and graphics performance. And thanks to NVIDIA Studio Drivers, you can be sure that all your favorite creative apps take full advantage of your powerful NVIDIA GPU. Instead of the onboard memory on most laptops these days that can't be upgraded or replaced, the 2023 ViewBook Pro 16X comes with two SODEM slots and up to 64 gigabytes of DDR5 4800 MHz straight out of the box. And over here, you can see a full speed and full size M.2 SSD slot. It's PCI Express Gen 4 with four lanes and it's long enough for full length 2280 SSDs. Out of the box, you can get it equipped with up to a two terabyte SSD. At 90 watt hours, this is one of the biggest batteries you can get in laptops. And it can fast charge from zero to 50% in just 30 minutes. So you can top it up really fast. Not just over the bundled 240 watt adapter, but actually any USB type C PD adapter with 100 watts or more can type C charge this at high speed. It also supports ASUS USB-C Easy Charge, which means you can charge it even with old 5, 10, or 20 watt smartphone chargers. It may take a while, but any charger will work, which is great if you forget to bring your charger one day. Wi-Fi wise, you're getting the fastest and most reliable Wi-Fi solution on the market with an Intel Wi-Fi 6E adapter. So you can upload, download, and have video calls with a reliable high-speed connection wherever you are. The Smart Amp powered Harman Kardon tweaked and certified speaker system on the 2023 ViewBook Pro 16X sounds loud and clear. Thanks to Dolby Atmos, which we bundle, I think it costs around 10 USD if you buy it in the Windows Store, you get a nice virtual surround effect that's even more impressive when you're using headphones. My ASUS is our one-stop app to access all ASUS features, settings to optimize performance and battery life, update drivers and apps with a single clip, as well as tweak the device to your liking. And if you have any questions, you can contact our service and customer support team straight away from within My ASUS. Thanks to Glidex, you can mirror your phone or tablet on your laptop, letting you use any mobile app on the PC with keyboard and mouse or use screen extender and turn your tablet or mobile device into an external monitor for your laptop. The ViewBook Pro 16X also comes with a free 90-day Adobe Creative Cloud bundle, as well as a 90-day Xbox Game Pass. Enjoy hundreds of games on Xbox Game Pass totally free with new additions every month. All right, that's it. Let me wrap up all the key points. The 2023 ViewBook Pro 16X is a big upgrade compared to our last year's model. It comes with a massively faster HX Core i9 CPU that scores up to 69% higher in Cinebench with up to an RTX 4070 GPU, a brand new 16 inch 16 by 10 3.2K QHD OLED panel running at 120 Hertz. And all that comes in at only 1.9 kilos. 
keyboard, touchpad, IO, memory, storage. I really can't see anything here that could be a deal breaker for anyone. You really get pretty much anything you need. Yes, if you're willing to spend a couple hundred USD extra, you can get our ProArt StudioBook 16 in an all metal chassis and max out all the I.O., get slightly higher performance and temperatures. But if you care about bang for your buck or care about the weight, then the VivoBook Pro 16X is an incredibly compelling laptop. The RTX 4060 starts at a few hundred USD below 2000 USD. And for just a couple hundred USD more, a tad above 2000, you can upgrade it to an RTX 4070. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video about the 2023 VivoBook Pro 16X and you now know all about it and have no questions unanswered. Take care, everybody.